So the campsite we were staying at is really close to Whitefish Point, but we just got here and after being alone, mostly alone for the past few days, it's crawling with people. I had no idea there'd be this many people up on this isolated point. So on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday, yeah. And we were gonna go, there's a shipwreck museum right here and a lighthouse. We're gonna go look, but it looks like it's so crowded that we may just take off and head over to Sioux Locks. We'll see. Yikes. Well, it is a cool lighthouse. What are you doing? Oh, girl, they're gonna kick us out for that bad pun. <laughs> This is quite the contrast from where we just were. Yep. All right, so we're going to pass on the museum, but we are going to walk out to Whitefish Point, which we happen to be right on the tip of. So we're going to do this. What's the point? So in this shack, in the right season, they make it really count. Someone stays in the shack and watches for birds migrating and counts them to get counts of how many specific species are coming through. Pretty interesting. All right, this is Whitefish Point. Apparently, it's pretty primo bird habitat, so I don't think we're allowed to walk out onto it. Uh oh. There's the point right there. Piping plovers are potentially nesting here. I hope that's not the feathers we just saw. spent way too long in Myers trying to get food. Now we're hangry. What do you have to say about this? Look at it. was like a teaspoon of topping on this. <laughs> That's supposed to last this whole thing. That's stupid. <laughs> Welcome to Sault Ste. Marie. Library Drive, that makes a lot of sense. Guess where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Is that the library? Which one of these is the library? Oh, so Mario has arrived. What? Where? Straight ahead. Huh. Welcome. Sioux Locks in Sault Ste. Marie. This is my mask. This is me. <laughs> There's Canada. It's like the biggest parking gate ever. It was like an Austin Powers skit. <laughs> meep, meep. It's kind of like the Shriners at the circus. Well, these boats are locked in now. Thank you. 
the supervillain's lair. You probably can't see but we just headed down 75 to the bottom of the up to saint ignace tomorrow we'll be crossing the mackinac bridge back into michigan proper but check it out we're staying at a ferry parking lot and there's a lighthouse in the distance is blind. Well, we're getting ready to head south across the Mackinac Bridge. Oh no, but we don't have our Mac Pass. Oh. Sponsored by Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Is that a frog? Ooh. Is it a That's fish? A tiny little fish. Dang. Oh my god. Oh yeah, just shove it in your gullet. Dang. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Well, we weren't sure what we were gonna do for camping tonight, but we were both tired of driving and trying to figure out where to go, so we just set up at the park. Well, at the campground. And Joey made delicious fajitas with porto bellas. And, and I cooked them, but he pressed them really hard. For lunch, dinner, we have portobello fajitas. We hope they're good. Someone just took their first official shower in how long, bud? Long time. <laughs> how you feel? Great. Decent. Mm. Like a buck. Mm. <laughs> you ready? It might be real hot. Oh, it is hot. 
What in the world? A pumpkin pie? <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. Surprise, you can't tell. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. That's like a pumpkin pie. Okay, now. That's good. Okay. Another morning, another breakfast. This morning, we're having coffee from the area. We'll see if it's any good. And of course, as is a staple now, oatmeal, yellow oatmeal. Well, we had a nice stay at Bay City State Park campground. And I was thinking we've been staying in campgrounds a lot more than we normally do. I think we've stayed in three so far this trip, maybe four. Three. Three. And normally we don't stay in campgrounds at all because why pay for a place to stay when there are so many beautiful free places and Cracker Barrel <laughs> parking lots. <laughs> But uh, it's been really nice, actually. Just something about it is kind of nostalgic for when I was growing up camping and we'd go to a campground and you got all these people doing their little campground tasks and the just the general din of a campground is fun to listen to. Kids riding by on bikes and doing loops around the campground circuit. And I don't know, there's something nice about it. Even though there's so many people around, it's kind of comforting and it makes for a, a relaxing place to stay. And we had showers, which was nice. So there's definitely an upside to campgrounds. Although most times we avoid them this trip, it's been nice to stop at a few and rest for a while. We lucked out also and planned to be surrounded by empty spots that hadn't, be re hadn't been reserved yet. And we mostly kept it except for one neighbor, which still isn't too close. So I think that was part of why this was real nice. Pro tip, do a drive through of the campground and pick a spot that's isolated. Or just look online and look where the most green dots are together. Yeah, also did. Uh, but today we are packing up and moving down to Detroit. So we used most of our time and our free time up in the Upper Peninsula, which was nice. So now we're heading down to see some of Tara's friends in Detroit. And then we'll drop down from there to see my grandparents north of Cincinnati. And then we'll be heading to Kentucky from there. So the road trip has entered the, uh, what do you call that, re-entry phase where we're coming back down from Michigan and kind of speeding things up again. So we'll see how it goes. I, for one, will miss the beach where we just stayed <laughs> for a couple of days alone. And yeah, that was nice. Anyways, onward and downward. Hi. Show them the tree you found. <laughs> that tree is thick. Joby, it grows. Yeah. What? <coughs> we'll just cut that out. Where are we, bud? We're out here, Bay City Park. Lake Huron. You're probably tired of Huron about it, but it's another great lake, which makes this the third. We've seen Michigan from Wisconsin. We've seen Superior up in the Upper Peninsula. And now we're back down by Huron on the east coast of Michigan. And here on out, we're gonna be a little too far south to hit anymore, unless we hit Erie. We could go to Erie. Detroit. Yeah, we'll see. So great. Lots of lakes. They've got a splash park. That looks like so much fun. Right, so we did the wedding where we were close to people even though 90 something percent were vaccinated. We've been about two weeks away from anyone intimately. That sounds weird. Um, personally, <laughs> closely. So now we're doing an antigen test before we see anyone else just to have a clean slate. So, woohoo! <laughs> Come. <laughs> 
Hamilton, Ohio, home of my grandparents. We had a great time in Detroit, met up with friends, it's been a day and a half, and now oh, nice. two days maybe. Now we're heading, booking it south on 75 from Detroit to near Cincinnati, Ohio to see my grandparents. And then we'll be moving on from there. It's the end of the road trip and it's sad. just left my grandparents' house in Cincinnati after a nice little visit overnight and for a day. And we just entered Kentucky. So, welcome to Kentucky! Kentucky. <laughs> the quickness at which Hannah was good at this was a little infuriating. Uh, I'm not surprised at all. Yeah. It's like as soon as I got them set up, she like learned how to foot walk and did the splits in like four seconds. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Now lean into it. <laughs> what? Am I not? No, I mean with your heart. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> 